You are cruising along and then technology changes. You have to adapt. I've just gotten used to using a new social media application on my phone. It's fantastic. I'm on vacation taking pictures on my phone and posting them to my personal account. All my family and friends are commenting real time on how nice the places I am visiting look and commenting, very nice, can't wait to hear all about it. It feels so different from my trip the year before when I carried my 35mm digital camera around my neck snapping up all kinds of pictures, making sure I brought an extra SD card so I could save all my pictures. This time I left the camera at home, used my phone for everything, and shared my experience real-time with family and friends. Six months later, while planning my next vacation, I noticed a picture I took on a travel website. Hey, those are my children in the picture. How did that travel website get my picture? Who said that they could use my picture to advertise their travel services? How did that happen? New social media applications seem to emerge daily. Our friends tell us, try this new app, and just when we get used to using one app, everyone seems to jump to a new one, making the one I just learned obsolete. And worse yet, I'm using this new thing, and I'm not entirely aware of how my data will be shared or used. How do we keep pace with technological change? How do we conceive what this change will bring? As we begin this investigation, let's set boundaries. What is technology and what is change? Let's start with technology. For this course, let's use this definition of technology. The use of science in industry, engineering, etc. to invent useful things or to solve problems. And how about change? Let's go with this definition for change. To become different. Okay, these definitions appear simple enough, but I don't know that these two definitions will be enough to help me assess the questions raised by my vacation experience. Let's add two more ideas to the equation to create foundational questions around technological change, assessing change, and issues around any technology. Let's go back to my vacation example. I learned this new mobile app for taking pictures on my phone and how to share the photos on the internet real time with family and friends. The creator of the app provided guided help showing me through the app itself how to use the app and share my photos. The app had lots of features. The app developer designed the app to help people use their phone to take pictures, change them, and post the pictures to the internet for easy sharing. Let's consider these actions by the developer as intentional and my use of the app and its features as intended consequences of the technology. Restated, the way I use the app is the way the developer intended it. But how about that travel agency copying my picture without my permission and using it for their own financial gain? What would we call that action? Copyright infringement? Illegal? Unethical? Something else? I'm sure the developer of the social media application did not create it with the intention that the travel agency or anyone else would use it to break the law or harm others. Let's consider this an unintended consequence of the social media application. The social media picture application is a good example of not only how fast things change due to advances in technology, but also how consequences, both intentional and unintentional, rise and change virtually as fast as technology. Depending on the technology, consequences can be minimal or enormous. We may not know all the consequences as the technological change goes mainstream. As we jump into the issues of computing, let's consider these four terms and what they mean to us. Technology, change, intended consequences, 
and unintended consequences.